Hello and welcome, Leo. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. Okay. <laughs> um, Leo, keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything that's going to resonate with your situation. That's okay. Just take what does. Leave the rest behind. Um, you know, if it's not your message, don't worry about it. Don't stress yourself out over it. Um, also, this is going to be taking a look into... Um, you know, messages, things that need to be said, you know, somebody thinking of you wanting to say something, um, you know, whether it's a loved one, it's, um, you know, like family, <clears throat> friend, a romantic partnership, someone who wants to express their feelings towards you, you know, whatever it is, we're going to get into it, we're going to look at it, see what's going on, see who this person is. Um, but I know these types of readings can be triggering, you know, kind of bring up some emotions and feelings. But, you know, again, that's the purpose of tarot. It's not just, you know, is my person going to contact me, you know, and are we going to live, you know, happily ever after. You know, tarot is so much more than that. It's guidance. It's letting us know, like, you know, if there's an open wound, you know, if something triggers you, that's because there's something that still requires some attention, some healing. So, you know, again, just keep that in mind. This is offering some guidance. Um, but also remember that at the end of the day, that you need to use your own discernment and you know your situation better than anybody. All right. We all have that free will. Okay, I was filling this one. I'm not taking the rest, but I'm taking that one because I was filling that one. That's why I just kind of let it go. <laughs> All right, I want one more, please. And I'm filling this. Okay. We have the Seven of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. All right. So here we have the High Priestess. We have the Chariot. We have Fortitude, and then again, that Seven of Swords. Okay, um, bottom of the deck is that Empress, so I do feel like there is a new beginning here. I also feel like you're trying to create something. Um, with the High Priestess, I feel like you're kind of listening to, um, you're li definitely listening to your intuition, but it kind of just feels like you're listening to your intuition to help you move on, to help you move forward, or for some of you, I keep getting, you know, to help you create something. Um, with fortitude here, um, this would be the card of strength. Sorry, I kind of went blank for a second um, because I kept getting messages and sometimes I tune out. Bad habit. <laughs> um, but with the card of fortitude, or like I said, strength, <clears throat> I do get vitality. I do get courage, like the card says. Um, but I also, again, I keep getting like you trying to create something, you um, wanting to move on from something, wanting to change something. Um, and then we have the Seven of Swords, which it does feel like there's some setbacks. It does feel like there's some confusion. Um, I keep getting possibly, you know, hiding something or somebody's hiding something from you. Maybe that's what's causing the confusion. Um, but I do feel like there is a relationship, some kind of relationship going on here. This could be someone who's crushing on you. This could be someone you're involved with. This could be someone that you're, again, just kind of thinking about. And yeah, I will get more into that. But I keep getting like this person isn't fully telling you what they want you to know, um, which is kind of opening up. And I feel like you're having a hard time kind of deciding between should I move on? Should I move away from this idea of us being together? You know, is maybe it's just me thinking that we have a future, that, you know, we, we you know, have a relationship. <clears throat> or should I just move on from this idea? Because what if they want something different? I do feel like this person is kind of closed off. I do feel like, you know, this person isn't used to really opening up, especially when it comes to their feelings. It kind of feels like they put on this facade of, you know, being really strong, you know, not wanting to be weak. And they see it's kind of like opening up, you know, expressing emotions as kind of being weak, you know. Um, which, I mean, that's not a good way to look at it, but that's what I just kind of keep getting from this person. Um, but it kind of feels like what they're hiding is the fact that they don't want you to move on. Um, but I feel like their actions are kind of causing some confusion or lack thereof. You know, their, their actions are lack of actions. So on the bottom of the main deck that I'm using, you have the Empress. Clarifying this Priestess card, you have the Emperor. You have the Hanged Man and the Hierophant. So yeah, it kind of stops... I don't know why I said stops, but it kind of feels like something is stopping you from having um, a commitment with this person. Either this person is non-committal, this person doesn't know what they want, but I feel like it's causing some confusion in this situation. That's what this person isn't, you know, saying to you. This person isn't telling you, I don't know what I want. 
But I do feel like you're picking it up on their emotions, on their actions, kind of how they're acting towards you. The fact that they are kind of closed off. Um, hmm. I feel like this person likes to take their time, is kind of cautious. But I feel like this person also has a tendency to really get in their headspace. Um, sometimes I kind of overthink things or, you know, kind of overcomplicate things, um, especially when it, when it comes to themselves or their feelings, like almost kind of self-sabotaging in a way. We have the Three of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles clarifying the Chariot. Yeah, see, I keep getting like um, either you're trying to move on from this person or this person thinks you're moving on from them, something along those lines, or you feel like this person is moving away from you, but that's not the case. I keep getting like this person does want to work, does want to work this out, does want to put work in, but I keep getting at the same time, there's some confusion. There's some, I don't want to say non-committal, but it's just like, Either I don't know what I'm doing or I don't know what I'm, you know, I, I just keep getting like a lot of confusion. Like, I don't think this person has ever been in like a, a committed, solid relationship before or something because I keep getting like, I don't know what to do or, you know, again, I keep getting like that uncertainty and it kind of feels like it stems from this person not being in a, a steady place themselves. This person, like I said, it kind of feels like they're all over the place. It kind of feels like um, maybe they lack some confidence, you know, but it's like they kind of make up for it by appearing that they're overconfident. Um, I was actually getting this from another sign as far as that part goes. But I also feel like, you know, this person does want to work things out. They want to put the work in, but I kind of feel like they need to focus on themselves first because it kind of feels like, again, they really don't know what they want. They don't want to lose you. But at the same time, they're having a hard time, like, kind of committing to this. But I feel like what it is, it's not that they don't want to. You know, again, I keep hearing, like, I don't know how. I don't know where to start. This person, like I said, is not used to opening up. And I think that's the problem here. That's where we're running into these roadblocks. Um, we have the Four of Cups. We have the Page of Swords. And we have the Magician. Yeah, this person doesn't know how to communicate. And that's why I keep getting, like, we, we keep hitting, like I said, these roadblocks. We keep getting, like, not knowing what to do. Hmm. See, I keep getting like needing, there could be a bit of an age difference between you and your person. Or again, it's like two of you are like on the same, are on different pages, I should say. Um, they're on the page of like, you know, let's just take our time. Let's just kind of see where this goes. And you're like, you know, I'm kind of ready for something a little bit more in my life. You know, can I get that commitment from you? Can we kind of take things to the next level? I keep getting like somebody wants to move in with somebody else, but you know, again, they're they're not ready for that level of commitment. Are they? And I, I keep getting like they're afraid that you're going to see that they're not as stable as what they're letting on, because it almost kind of feels like somebody's even trying to avoid avoid the conversation of making some kind of change within this connection. And like I said, I just, I feel like you're kind of ready for something more. You know, again, this could be you, this could be your person, but I feel like, again, we're just on two separate pages. Possibly an age difference, you know? I do get age difference, like somebody's just a little more mature than the other person. Um, and they're just, that's why they're, they're trying to create their stability and security, but you know, they're not quite to where you are, you know, or again, vice versa. All right. So clarifying that seven of swords, we have the full card. We have the six of wands and we have the five of wands. Yeah, definitely some struggle. Um, it's like they see what they want, but they're having a hard time attaining their goal. Um, they want a new beginning. They want to start over. I keep getting, see how she's like kind of crying and looking at her phone. And that's what I keep seeing too. It's like this person wants to communicate. They want to reach out, but they, I keep getting like, I don't know what to say. I don't know where to start, you know? And, and that's what I keep getting because this person feels so closed off. They don't know where to begin to open up. They don't know what to say. They know that they need to open up because they don't want to lose you.
but also at the same time, they know like they got to do some work on themselves because they recognize that, you know, you're ready for a lot more and you deserve some goodness. They recognize that too, but they just kind of have that insecurity of what if I can't give it to them? What if I can't provide everything that they need? So, you know, I keep getting, like I said, kind of, kind of wishy-washy in a way because it feels like they want to, but then they don't or they can't. It's not necessarily that they don't. Again, I keep hearing more, I keep hearing more like I can't. I don't know how, where do I start? You know, I keep hearing things like that instead of, you know, opposed to, no, I don't want the relationship or I don't want to commit. It's more like, I don't know how, I don't know how to open up. I don't know how to express myself. I don't know how to communicate in a healthy way. I do feel like this person has been possibly watching your social media or trying to contact you on social media. Um, all right, again, I keep getting texts. I keep getting like this person wants to text you, wants to reach out, and they might. They just might because they don't want to give up. They don't want to let go, like I said, and they know that they, they need to reach out. But to them, it's kind of like really scary. It's like, I don't know what to say. I don't know where to begin. What if I say the wrong thing? What if they don't understand? Um, like I said, I just I feel this person really being closed off. Okay, we have two cards coming out. Um, bottom of the deck, I've never been in love like this before. For sure. I don't think they have. Um, I was kind of picking that up like from the get-go. We need more balance in this connection, definitely. We're not on the same page right now. Confirmation, yes. That's what I kept picking up, that you guys are not on the same page with the connection. Um, there is more balance that's needed. Like I said, you know, being when you're not on the same page, there's a lack of balance there. You know, things could be or appear very one-sided. Somebody can feel like they're giving their all, they're sacrificing, they're doing this, they're doing that, and they're not seeing you being able to match their energy, which is what I kind of get from the, the magician, is not matching their energy, wanting to, but not being able to just yet. And like I said, I, I feel like there's going to need be a need for patience, um, you know, if you want to work this out. But I feel like your person does. I feel like that's what they, yeah, see, I need time to think. They do. They got to figure it out. Like I said, it's bottom of the deck for sure. So many confirmations here. Um, <laughs> fear is in the way. Yeah, definitely fear is in the way. I need time to think. Yes, they do. They do because, like I said, they don't know. I keep getting indecision. You know, I keep, I keep getting, like I said, kind of being wishy-washy, kind of going back and forth. And it's not that they don't want to. They just, you know, yeah. Um, I do feel like, the, and that's that's kind of funny that Unconventional came out. Because I kept getting like this person um, isn't used to doing things. I don't want to say like in a normal way, because I mean, what really is normal? Um, but it's like this person has their own way of doing things. This person is like definitely on their own timeline, you know, kind of marches to um, the beat of a different drum or how do they say that? Yeah. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, but I, I just feel like this person isn't very conventional. They're very unconventional. They do things their own way. You know, they just, they've always kind of had their own way and, you know, it suits them and in a way it kind of like protects them too. Um, and so now they're having to kind of change some things in order to make this connection work. So that's where we're kind of having, you know, some issues. That's where like the bottom of the deck says things get a little messy, and I kind of feel like that's what's going on. Things are a little bit messy right now. And I do feel like I said time is needed. Patience is needed. Because I feel like both of you, in a sense, need to figure out what you want. Because even from the get-go, I kept figuring out, like, should I stay? Should I go? You know? Um, so I feel like, you know, again, there's, there's a lot of confusion on your side. On their side, it's mostly their side that's causing the confusion on your side. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's still confusion. It's still going hot and cold. It's still going back and forth. So, you know, and this is also, you know, some advice here. But maybe looking at this situation from an unconventional approach would be the best bet. You know, maybe we don't have to just commit right away. Maybe we don't have to, um, you know, go about how whatever, you know, this timeline is. Maybe we can change things up, do things a little bit differently. You know, and I'm not saying that's going to work for everybody, but I'm just saying like, you know, again, this could be a different way of approaching things, you know, being a little more pragmatic um, when you're trying to kind of problem solve. You know what I mean? All right, let's go ahead and let's get some timing cards. 
see what we have. That when this can either be resolved or when you're going to hear some communication, whatever. But that's what I feel like this person wants to tell you that they're just not telling you is they don't know how to open up. All right. So we have September, um, you know, September, that would be actually we have. OK, so I took another one off the top just to see because I wanted a little bit more of a timeline. So yeah, September, October. So that would be next month and then the month after. Um, so definitely kind of going into end of summer, going into fall, um, could possibly be when things are starting to get resolved. Or again, the two of you are at a place where you can find compromise. You can open up, you can talk, you know, whatever this is. But I do feel like this person does want to work some things out. Um, does want to, like I said, open up, let you know kind of what's been going on with them, why they are so closed off, why, you know, they're having a hard time making, you know, certain decisions that you don't feel like, you know, should be a hard decision to make. It, it's hard for them. So, you know, again, that's why I feel like you're having that confusion on your part. So you're kind of looking at them for answers and, you know, it's, it's just kind of messy right now. Um, but I do feel September and October, things are going to start improving. And like I said, I do feel like you're going to be working things out. So, and I do feel like you're also going to be making up your mind about what you want to do with this particular connection. Do you want to work on it or do you just want to go ahead and move forward? Um, I do feel for those of you who choose to work on this partnership, this connection, I do feel like there is a lot of hope and I do feel like, you know, again, it's going to require some patience and time, but I do feel like it can get on the right track. I do feel like there can be a new beginning here. So, all right. Well, Leo, that is what I have for you. So thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. As always, enjoy the rest of your week and take care.